That is ridiculous. Yeah, he looked pretty happy. Hi guys. So I'm just getting ready to go. About to head off to work. And you know, we were both pretty tired this morning because of because of being up late. The stupid computer kept us up late because it was taking hours and hours to export each video. So Yeah. I don't know why we're having so many problems just trying to upload videos. So we have a bunch of them done. We have like a good chunk of the rest of the videos done, but they're just sitting on iMovie right now because we can't seem to export them at good speeds. Yes, and the problem with them sitting on iMovie is that they take up a lot of space because all the raw footage has to be there. And my computer is out of room, which is causing more problems. So, yeah, I still blame the powers that be. I don't think they like our videos. Mm, which is unfortunate because we try to make them funny sometimes. Yeah, powers that be. Why you gotta be such a prude? Look at this cat. You're yeah. making this cat unhappy. In spite of all his purring, he's his actually purring very is unhappy. His purring of sorrow. Yes, that's right. Don't claw me. You're just gonna stand on my knee? He always stands on one of my knees and then just balances. And it's terrifying because he does that. So you use your claws. Yeah. yeah. That's not nice. Bonk. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, whoop. well, today is the first day that I get to walk to work with my nice new winter boots. And I can already tell you, it makes a fantastically awesome difference. I'm pretty sure you saw my old shoes. If you've been watching any length of time, you saw the holes all over it. So, you can probably guess that I wouldn't want to walk through all this with holy shoes. So, my nice new boots are doing their job. My feet are nice and dry and warm. Feels really awesome. That's one of the satisfying things about winter is that, yes, it's inconvenient and it's cold and everything, but if you just equip yourself properly, you can conquer it. And it always feels very good. Feels like, yeah, I beat you, nature. But, uh, yeah, back to the issue with uploading videos. I honestly woke up really frustrated this morning. Basically yesterday was the day that we wanted to get caught up on the blog by and we had 12 videos to get done yesterday in order to hit that goal and that might sound like a lot and it is but under normal circumstances it should have been totally doable. However the thing is, after we had edited about six videos, we were out of space on the computer, and we decided we needed to export videos and upload them to YouTube in order to clear the space. But for some reason, the exports are taking about an hour each, and the uploads are taking about three hours each, and I don't know why. Like, as far as I can tell, there shouldn't be any reason for the tech to take this long. Normally, the upload takes maybe half an hour tops, or sorry, the uh, the export takes half an hour tops, and then the upload takes maybe 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm frustrated because we really should have been able to hit our goal, and now it's going to be dragging out across this week trying to get caught up. So I'm really sorry we're still behind, and more than that, I'm really sorry that we're still talking about being behind, because that seems to be all that's been going on recently. And I feel kind of bad, because it must be grating to listen to that after a while, so we appreciate your patience. <sighs> anyway, let's find something else to talk about. Are you able to see the snow falling in front of the trees at all? Like, it's pr pretty sparse, but there are a lot of, like, fat snowflakes falling down. It's kind of pretty. And of course someone ruins it by just dropping their bag of chips in the middle of the path, but whatever. Oh, it doesn't really show up on camera that well. It's actually so pretty outside. There are these like really big, fat, slow snowflakes falling everywhere. It's like the kind of snow that you see in Christmas movies. <laughs> it's so pretty. And of course Bill is seeing them and going like, I need to catch every single flake. Poor little kitty, it's so overwhelming. There's so many snowflakes and none of them look the same. Ugh. I really hope that the camera is able to pick up some of this pretty snowfall. I mean, admittedly, I know that the camera's not the best at picking up contrast even on the best of days, let alone white on white, but you know. If you can't see the snow falling, just take my word for it, it's pretty. 
still can't get over how awesome these boots are. I mean, I'm almost all the way there and my feet are still all toasty and dry and nice instead of cold and damp and miserable as they have been the past week or so when I walked to work. Sorry for not having a lot to expand on that with. I'm still trying to wake up. I'm, uh... See, my clothes are very nice and warm, but the problem with that is that it's very comfy and kind of putting me to sleep a little bit. So I'm practically sleeping while walking, which probably isn't good considering I was jaywalking while I said that. You guys, I've actually been watching so much Eat Your Kimchi lately. I've run out of their actual videos to watch, so now I'm watching their live chats, which have been recorded and put up on their channel. I'm, it's a problem. I love Eat Your Kimchi! But while I'm doing that, I'm also, if you can't tell by all the abundance of like empty packaging and tools and stuff, I'm making Christmas ornaments! Oh, 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 oh. It's gonna be a wreath. Come on, I went out um, on Black Friday and we went to a dollar store, which didn't have a Black Friday sale, but we got some ornaments, like super cheap ornaments. I have like a bunch of other things like some ribbon and some like fake plants with sparkles and it made everything sparkly. Like, I don't know if you can see the sparkles on my socks. Yep, there we go. There's like sparkles all over my pants. <laughs> like it shed so much. I guess that's what happens when you get sparkly dollar store things. Yeah, I'm making Christmas decorations, and I'm gonna put some sparkles on pine cones. I already started. I don't know if you can see the pine cones over there drying. I put some glitter glue on them. Just a little bit, because you know, we're not tacky here, says the person who's making decorations out of sparkly dollar store ornaments, but whatever. And I'm a little hyper, and <laughs> I'm gonna put beads on the pine cones and then string some string through the beads so I can hang them on the Christmas tree, because I thought that'd be cute, pine cones on a Christmas tree, and I'm gonna make a, a dinner setting thing, a centerpiece, that's what they're called, out of pine cones. I'm gonna put some pine cones in that vase right there and put a candle in it. Oh no! Oh no! Giant finger's gonna squish it! Oh wait, giant finger's over here! <laughs> anyway, <sighs> little hyper. <laughs> I literally just took a hanger that was like really bent out of shape and I unwound it and sort of bent it into a circle shape and I'm just stringing cheap. Christmas bulbs on it. That's it. A couple of cute bulbs, like some sparkly ones and some big ones and some small ones. You have to have the different sizes and textures to make it interesting. And then I also have these really cute, like, winter apple things. I thought it'd be adorable. Welcome home, me. So yeah, I just got back not too long ago. Hello, Annie. Hello. And yeah, and then I was going to do the usual thing where I drop off my computer with her so she can do video editing, which I did. And then I was going to go uh, grocery shopping, but I just barely missed my bus. And the next one doesn't run until basically the time the store closes. Because, hey, in case you haven't been following us, our buses suck. So... It used to suck, and that's yeah. so frustrating and why we keep repeating ourselves. Yeah, the reason we keep complaining about it is because part of the reason we moved here is because the buses used to be good here. <sighs> but enough about that. Uh, I'm going to go to the corner store and get what we absolutely need for tonight, and then try to swing the grocery shopping thing tomorrow. Annie is continuing to do the editing. Yep, yep. Yep. And I have a lot of work to do tonight. Uh, a lot of it's on the computer, but I have, you know, a few chores to do before that, so either way, I'm going to take a bit of a nap first because I'm probably going to be up kind of late. Isn't that right? You're so nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go lie down for a bit, and then hopefully have energy to see me through all my work for today. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice boy. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> uh, God, he smells bad. Aww. You're so cute, though. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you. Fiddlesticks, is there something behind the fridge? Something scary? What are you so scared of? There is nothing behind there. 
Except a bunch of dust. What are you so scared of, you big pussy? In my defense, that was not derogatory. He is a cat. Holy cannoli, guys. It is late o'clock on the dot. <sighs> I got a little caught up in my work. I'm, I've stayed up late tonight working on my slots game that I'm doing for Arctic Empire. Pardon my itchy nose. But yes, uh, the slots game is in its final days of production, at least for the initial release. Hi, fiddlesticks. Trying to demand my attention. I'm trying to talk to the internet. Shush. So yeah, the slots game is in its final days of production, and that should be ready to submit to Apple very, very soon. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, very nice game. I mean, if you're into slots, I guess you... I get, it definitely takes a certain kind of person to be interested in that kind of thing. But uh, I think as far as slots games go, it is quite fantastic, if I do say so myself. That should be ready to submit within a couple days. And yeah, so but it, at this point it's getting very late. And I need to drag this person into bed with me. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. I'm going to get to that, so I will see you fine folks in the morning. At which point, I will continue to go to work and work on slots and all that. And perhaps even finish it. You never know. So, I will see you then. Good night, little guy. Okay, bye.